You know there is one thing in your life that affects your attitude greater than what is happening, what's not happening, who you're with, or even what you're seeing. It's a power and a source of influence that is beyond anything else. It affects your future, it affects your career, it affects your success, it affects your happiness, and it affects your joy. It affects every part of your life. You want to know what it is and how to maximize it in your life? Stay tuned. Maximizing Life, I'm John Buck. You know, we have a lot of things that influence our lives. A lot of things that influence the way we behave, the way we talk, the way we act, the way we shop, the way we make decisions. I mean, those things come from the radio, the television, social media, and those that are around us. But you know, above and beyond all of those things, there is still one influence into our life that affects all of that stuff. It affects who we are as a person. It affects our self-image. It affects our image of others. It affects the things that we think about the most that moves us forward in our future. That one thing is what we hear. And I know you've heard that before, but you know what? It's absolutely true because our hearing affects everything about us. It's a direct line into our mind and in our psyche and our mental capacity to understand to move forward, to achieve. Hearing is one of the greatest influences we ever have. So what about the things that we hear? Well, let's cover a few little areas about that. Number one, um, let's talk about the people that we surround ourselves with. You know, we don't think about that a whole lot, but who, who do you surround yourself with? I mean, are these people complainers? Are they negative? Do they gossip a lot? Are they bringing information into your world and words into your ears that are just not good? Or are these people encouraging, uplifting? Do they talk about you as if you're a special person? Do they encourage you? What kind of people do you have in your life? Because see, here's the real truth about this. The things that you hear from other people, the things that you hear most often are typically the things that you're going to repeat. And the things that you repeat most often become the things that you believe. And to come full circle, what it is that you believe is what directs and controls your future. What kind of people are you around the most? Think about that for just a little bit. I mean, besides people, what else are you hearing and listening to every day? I mean, let's think about the music and the radio or however you're listening to that kind of stuff. What do the lyrics sound like? What is it you're listening to? What about TV? What about the shows that you're watching? Are they positive and uplifting or are they negative? Let's think about what's going on on the internet. I mean, what are you paying attention to on the internet and social media? You know, let's remember, these things are part of our everyday life and in many cases, more predominantly than even our own work and our own surroundings, we pay attention to our little cell phones and those, that is the influence that we have. So what kind of influence is that having upon your life? You know, positive influence, positive reinforcement is kind of like bathing, you know? You take a bath and you get clean. But you go back out into the world and you do the things and you get dirty and you got to come back in and you got to get clean again. So what I'm saying is that it's not enough that every once in a while you go and you find and you read and you pay attention and you fill yourself with something positive. You've got to do it every day. This negativity gets in our mind. It gets in our psyche. And to be quite honest with you, even as innocent as it might seem, Watching something or seeing something negative in your social media or on the internet or on the radio or television that you've heard, and by you communicating that back with someone else, 
holds great power for the influence that's in your life. In today's world, everything is at our fingertips. And let's be even further honest that most of that is negative. So what are we allowing in our minds? What are we allowing to be part of our psyche? Because the more we hear, the more we repeat. And remember, the things that we repeat become the things that we believe. So are you repeating this negativity that you're experiencing? Are you thinking about it? Is it mulling it over in your head? And are you thinking about that? And are you repeating that? The most powerful sound you will ever hear in your life is quite honestly the sound of your own voice. Now, why is that? I mean, you hear other people and other things and other sounds more than you hear your own voice. But let's think about the processes that are going on. When you hear other things from your surroundings, in your mind you have to listen. You have to decipher it. Make sure you understand it. It comes into your ears and goes into your mind and you process it and you think about it. And in many cases, we're already forming opinions at that point. We're contemplating it. It's got to go through this process before it becomes, it gets inside of us. And the more we hear these things, the more they get inside of us. But let's think about even the most powerful of messages from the outside can't touch the message that comes out of your very own mouth. Yeah, that's right. The things that you speak, okay? Now, you will always speak the things that you believe. And remember, what you hear the most becomes what you begin to believe the most. And when you believe them, you begin to speak them. So be careful about what it is that you speak. When you speak a word, what comes out of your mouth immediately is inside your ears. And it's that same process all over again. But the only trick is... You have already thought about it. You've already convinced yourself in your mind that what's coming out of your mouth is the truth. That's exactly why a lot of people, once they do tell an exaggeration or a lie, it's so hard for them to go back on it because they've said it so often they believe it. And that's not a good thing. So you got to think about what's coming out of your mouth even far greater than you need to think about what's being spoken around you. I wonder, have you ever had a day where you just didn't start off right and everything was going bad? But somehow or another, that day, you ended up speaking to somebody that lifted you up and encouraged you. And then you began to speak that encouragement and you started to feel better. Well, maybe you ran across somebody that just needed some encouragement and as bad as you were feeling, you encouraged them, but now you got lifted up. See, the things that you hear influence you in such great ways. So in the end, remember that you are a total sum of all the things that you allow into your life. All the things that you hear, the things that you see, the things that you do, the things that you act upon, don't have near the influence as the things that you hear. So be choosy about those that are around you. Be choosy about the things that you listen to, the things that you hear. Be choosy about the things that come in through your ears because those are the things that are going to come out of your mouth. If they come out of your mouth, they sink into a belief. Be selective about that kind of thing. There's a principle in life that says you will always find what you seek. So I challenge you, go out today, go out tomorrow and every day. Seek out positive conversations with positive people. So when you come upon your friends or your coworkers, start a positive conversations. And I promise you, the positive people will rise above and the negative people will point themselves out. Surround yourself with those positive people. Seek positive influence in your life. Seek positive things to put in, and I promise you, you will get positive out. You know, there's an old saying that there's an old saying that goes, if you put garbage in, you get garbage out. Sounds like a lot to think about. Pay attention to what you hear, because it will affect your future. Until next time, we'll see you.